Yes, Mr. Varka here. I just wanted to take uh, a moment and to uh, show you guys how to log into Yearbook Avenue, and then I want to show you some features about Yearbook Avenue that um, you might not be aware of, or that could also be really helpful to you uh, this upcoming year in making the yearbook. Um, so first things first, logging into Yearbook Avenue. You want to go to yearbookavenue.jostens.com. Um, once we get there, a couple of things we want to make sure when we log in. We want to make sure we're on the right year. Um, and I think this mostly affects uh, people who have been on staff before. We want to make sure we're in 2021 and or the year in which the book is coming out. So if somebody's watching this years from now, think about when is the book coming out. Not necessarily when the school year starts, but when the book comes out. Of course, we, we begin in 2020, but our book doesn't come out to the following spring, which would be 2021. Um, we want to go over to job number and input our school's job number. In this case, it's 43280. We want to put our username and the password that we created uh, in the classroom. Uh, put that in, click Let's Go, and boom. You are into Yearbook Avenue. Now, this is where we're going to, we're always going to go in here to make our yearbook. A um, couple things I want to bring to your attention. Um, one, there's this little taskbar over here where I or the editors will make stuff for you guys to do. And you can have this little task list and you can, you can check it off and make sure it gets done. And you can even do it for yourself. Make a little to-do list of things in your yearbook that you need to do to remind yourself. There is also, right here, I like this, this is a little inspiration, uh, little inspiration gallery to check out in case you guys need some ideas for good photos. Um, you click on the little, um, on the tiles to the right, and you'll see just a plethora of cool photos taken by other yearbook students, taken by your peers throughout the country that also use, that also use Justin's. Um, so we've got that there. Uh, a couple other things I want to show you as well before we get into like where to make the book, but we have what's called the digital classroom. Now you guys all have access to this. Um, now this is just basically what this is, and it's a huge, it's a huge zoo. You can take time to look through it, um, but there's ideas on coverage ideas, photography ideas, um, how to... Um, do pretty much any part of yearbook uh, that you might need help with. Um, theme, photography, design, writing, uh, copy. Uh, they have lessons on everything here. So if you need additional help outside of what I, the editors, and the managers can give you, please check out the digital classroom. Okay? Um, the main tab that you're going to be associated with is this one here, the Create tab. And there's a couple things to keep in mind, and I'll go further in depth in later videos and in class than this, but I just wanna show you real quick um, the two main functions. One, the image library. Uh, the image library is where we're gonna keep all of our photos, okay? Um, you don't necessarily need to be worrying about this stuff over here. We're gonna worry about what's underneath this activity uh, folder and we're going to update this and, and organize it a little bit more than what we have here now but this is where you're going to upload all of the photos that you take um, and I'll do a separate video on how to upload and save photos but the image library is where we're going to keep all of our photos and stuff so this is a very important place to uh, to check out so remember all of the photos that you use in the book need to come through the image library cool Okay, so also underneath that Create tab that you want to be interested in is Monarch, right? Uh, sometimes we interchangeably use Yearbook Avenue and Monarch um, just because they're attached to each other. Um, but Monarch is where we go to make the yearbook. So you click on Monarch, and you are going to get, basically it looks like a second desktop for your computer, okay? And you have a couple things here uh, that you should be aware of. One, all of you guys, because you're in yearbook, you have access to InDesign, 
Photoshop, and Adobe Bridge. Um, so you guys can use these programs. Um, you can use them for other stuff besides here, but you have access to that. InDesign is where we're going to be making our pages. Now, we don't have our stuff set up yet, um, but this is where we would go to upload our yearbook pages to uh, create our yearbook pages is where we find our templates and all that kind of stuff and and I will have a um, we'll have more videos and more support on how to do this stuff but I just want to draw it to your attention right that this is you know we have InDesign right here um, with all of our tools and stuff like that um, to the right that is there okay um, so every day in class you'll pretty much be coming into here coming into InDesign. One thing I also want to point out is, all right, let's say you go in, you make your yearbook page, you're doing your work, right? You always want to every so often go to file, save, and especially do it before we leave for the class. But one thing I want you guys to make sure that you do before you log off every single time is to click on this little gear and then I want you to hit close session. Okay? You do that when you're absolutely done. All right, this will, uh, it just kind of helps clean things up when you're closing down. Um, and it'll also make sure that if you want to log, like let's say you want to work on this at home as well, this will completely log you off so that you should have no problem logging in remotely. Okay? And do the same thing if you're using Photoshop or Bridge as well. Um, as you guys are, as you guys are working, so make sure to always close out uh, or to close off using the gear on the bottom right. Okay. Um, so that is pretty much the basics of logging in and, and the important stuff that you guys need to pay attention to with Yearbook Avenue and with Monarch. If you guys have any questions, um, please just let me know, and uh, yeah, I'll be happy to walk you through. But Monarch's pretty easy, pretty self-explanatory, and again, pay most attention to the Monarch and the Image Library. Those are going to be our two main pages that we use. All right, cool. Thanks for checking this out, and I will see you guys in class.